Hi everybody, we're back with module seven, lesson two homework. This is on page 97 in your six C book. And we're continuing to work with data, little pieces of information, tables and charts. We're going to be creating a picture graph using the data in this table. Now, a picture graph usually would have actual pictures in it. Um, so uh, maybe a face or a, you know something would be a picture graph. In this one, we're going to be drawing something much more simple because like they said, it's not art, it's math. So we don't want to spend all of our time drawing. <coughs> so um, we're going to use this grid. We have to put the title. So looking at our table, this up here is our title, Favorite Mammals. We're also going to have to list our categories. We have Tiger, Panda, Snow Leopard, and Gorilla. And we're going to put those down here. Boy, do I not have enough room. I'm just going to put the first letter. So for tiger in this first line, I'm going to put T. Panda on the second line, I'm going to put P. Snow leopard, I'm going to actually do both S, L. And then for the gorilla, I'm going to put a G. We have to first make our graph based on this information and then we can go about answering the questions. So we are going to use, just like we did in class today, a circle. A circle is a picture, but it's a quick and easy thing to draw so that all of our time won't be spent on drawing instead of math. So for our tiger, there were eight tigers. I'm going to draw one circle in each of eight boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're skipping a line here between these two so that there's more clarity about which is which. The panda has 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Snow leopard, so we are going to do seven circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And finally, the gorilla. Oh my gosh, it's got 12. This one was 11. There's just enough room for 12. We're going to put a circle in every one of those boxes. They have a lot of gorillas. Now the legend is the key to telling someone else how to read our graph. For every one of those circles, it stands for one animal. So that's what we're going to write. Each circle stands for one animal. You might be able to get it on the line. I didn't have quite enough room. All right, we're going to use all of this information now to answer these questions. We can look at our graph. We can look at the table. How many more people chose gorilla as their favorite mammal than chose tigers? Okay. So this is a comparing question. When we have a comparison question, we are being asked to compare two different amounts. So we need to know how much each one of them is and then what the difference is between them. So here's tiger and here's gorilla. Tiger is here, gorilla is all the way up to here. We need to know what is the difference between how many chose tiger, 
how many chose gorilla. In other words, how many more people would have had to have chosen tiger for it to be the same as gorilla? In order to find this out, we need to note that the tiger has eight and the gorilla has 12. So we can subtract 12 minus eight or we can count up from eight so that we're saying eight plus something equals 12. All right, so um, in a chart like this, in a picture graph, we can also count how many more spaces would I need to fill for it to be the same. That is sort of like counting up from eight to 12. So we would need one, two, three, four more in order to have the same. That is the difference. So when we are being asked to say how many more or how many fewer, they are asking us to compare those numbers and figure out what the difference is. So the difference is four. Four more people chose gorilla than chose tiger. The next one is also a comparison question. How many more people chose tiger and gorilla as their favorite mammals than panda and snow leopards? So this one, we are not gonna just have to figure out the difference. We have to figure out what those two numbers are because we have to add tiger and gorilla together and then panda and snow leopard together. We have to find out what those two numbers are, then we can compare and find the difference. So tiger had eight, gorilla had 12. We need to add together 12 plus eight. If we're adding our ones, two and eight is 10. So we have a 10 here and we have a 10 here. That's 20. Panda had 11. And Snow Leopard has seven. Again, we're gonna add our ones together. Seven and one is eight. We didn't make a 10, so we're not gonna move that over. And then there's one 10 there. So. Panda and snow leopard is 18. Tiger and gorilla is 20. What is the difference between these two numbers? How many more do I need to add to 18 to get 20? 18, 19, 20. We added two. If you subtract 18 from 20, you would also get two. How many fewer people chose tiger as their favorite mammal than a panda? Okay, it doesn't matter whether they're asking you for more or if they're asking you for fewer or less. This is still asking you to compare these two numbers. What's the difference between the two numbers? Tiger was eight, panda was 11. How many fewer, which would mean how many of the panda would you have to take away to get them to the same, or how many would you add? The difference is exactly the same. So again, you can just subtract 11 minus eight. You can count up to make the difference, eight, nine, 10, 11. You can look at the spaces between them. We need one, two, three. Either you're taking those three off to make them both eight, or you're putting three more on to make them both 11. Doesn't matter. The difference between these two numbers is three. Whether you're saying how many more does Panda have or how many fewer does Tiger have, the difference is three either way. Now this at the bottom is the coolest. They want us to come up with our own comparison question. So 
I'm gonna write a sentence frame that you can use. How many more blank than blank? So how many people like tigers more than snow leopards? How many more people liked gorillas than pandas? How many more people liked um, gorillas than snow leopards? You could say how many fewer, but um, more is probably easier for you to think about. So how many more means that whoever had the bigger number goes first. You can't say how many more snow leopards than gorillas because there aren't more snow leopards. So how many more, I'm going to just use that as my example. How many more liked gorillas more than snow leopards? How many more people liked gorillas than snow leopards? And we would then have to answer that question. You don't have to put gorillas and snow leopards. You can choose any one that you want to compare. Um, right now we're asking for more. So you have to make sure that whichever one uh, has more goes first. How many more pandas than tigers? How many more tigers than snow leopards? And then you're going to write the answer. In our case, gorillas and snow leopards, the difference between 7 and 12, the difference is 12 minus 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So whichever question you ask, if you ask the same as mine, that's fine. You can go ahead and write 5. If you asked a different question, you need to find out the answer to that question and fill that in. Second page. I have page 99. Did they skip a page? Oh, they gave us a grid in the middle, didn't they? I don't think we need it. I'm not sure why we would need another grid like we used in class this morning. So use the data of Mr. Clark's class to create a picture graph in the space below. Now this time we are talking about students who like, right? These are their favorites. They liked penguins, they liked flamingos, they liked peacocks. So um, when we're drawing our picture, we could do a face if we want to this time, instead of just a circle. We have to label our graph the title of the table is Favorite Birds. And then the three different birds, there's a penguin, a flamingo, and the last one is peacock. Wow, a lot of people liked Peacock. So these are how many students, right? So I'm going to say that I'm going to use a happy face. So a happy face stands for one student. So one student likes that animal. So penguins. Remember with our tally marks, when you have that slant across, that's a group of five. So we have five and one more. So that's six. So I'm just going to do six happy faces, people who liked penguins. Six people liked penguins. Again, they're skipping a line, even though this one goes the other direction. Flamingos. Five. And then the peacock. Look how many people liked peacocks. 
We have a group of five and a group of five and four more. So five, 10, 10 and four is 14. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you're not having enough room to put faces in there, you can still just do circles. It's okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, so now we're going to answer some questions based on our picture graph. If you need to pause to catch up, that's okay. How many more students voted for peacocks than penguins? Again, we are comparing these two numbers. In this case, they're asking how many more peacocks than penguins, but it would be the same if they said fewer. We are comparing six and 14. So we can subtract 14 minus 6. We can count the difference between them. We can count up from 6 to 14. All right, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How many is that? 8. 14 minus 6 equals 8. 6 plus 8 equals 14. So there were 8 more people that voted for peacocks than penguins. How many fewer votes are for fling flamingos than penguins and peacocks? Okay, so this is one of those two parts. We have to figure out how much penguins and peacocks are. So we have 14 plus 6. Oh, that's easy. I can make a 10. So I have one 10 here, and then I have one 10 here. So that's 20. So how much more is 20 than the flamingos, which is only 5? We Again, we would say 20 minus 5. And we can um, subtract, we can count up. I'm going to count backwards because it's only five. And I'm going to actually count backwards by fives. Think about how to do that for a second. If we're starting at 20, when we count, we say 5, 10, 15, 20. So if we're taking away one five from 20, how many is going to be there? 15. So there are 15 more or fewer votes for flamingos than for penguins and peacocks. 15 more for them than for them. Now, one more comparison question. Based on this table, you can say which one has more, which one has less. You can't, it needs to be a comparison question though. You can't just say, how many people liked penguins best? That's just a straightforward question. We want a comparison. So how many more people voted for one thing than another? Or how many fewer people voted for this than that? That's what I'm gonna write. I am gonna write how many Fewer. And since I'm saying fewer, my first blank has to be the smaller number. So I'm going to compare the flamingo and the peacock. How many fewer people voted for flamingos than peacocks. Now, you are welcome to use the same question that I did. Whichever question you put, though, whether you put mine or you came up with one of your own, you have to answer it now. If you need to pause to catch up, 
go ahead. I'll see you next time.